VNC, or Virtual Network Computing, makes it possible to view and interact with an HMI from another computer or device connected to the Internet. If you are familiar with Windows Remote Desktop, VNC does the same thing but allows you to control the Maple System Silver Series HMIs from a PC over the Internet. To use the VNC connection in the Silver Series HMI, you must enable the VNC function from within the HMI settings. First, click the arrow icon in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. On new models of the Silver Series HMIs, uh, select the gear icon in the lower right hand corner on the taskbar. On the older models, select the wrench icon on the lower left hand side on the taskbar. After entering the password, which in the default is six ones, click the network tab and note the HMI IP address. You might want to write that down for later reference. Select the second to the last tab on the right, the VNC Server tab. This tab can be hard to see. It appears as a tiny sliver beneath the Firmware tab. Click VNC Login Password to set the password used to log into the HMI from the VNC application. Select Start VNC and then click Apply and OK. On your PC or remote device, open a VNC Viewer application and enter the HMI IP address. Enter the VNC login password and begin your remote access. Here's an example of using the VNC clan application on a PC to remote into my HMI. You can see here I'm running a, a VNC client application on my PC. This is something I downloaded for free on the internet. Uh, you can just do a Google search for VNC client or VNC viewer on Google and you'll see all sorts of uh, examples. Uh, essentially I put in my IP address, hit OK, put in my password and bam, I'm now viewing wh what I see on my HMI screen. So uh, at this point I'm actually controlling the system uh, running in my on my HMI. So in this uh, scenario here I've got a, a paint booth and uh, these are my tanks and uh, if I turn on my system and I'm off doing whatever and and I can see my blue paint is uh, filling up this tank and bam it hits the top I get an alarm and so at that point now that I'm monitoring this remotely from my office or wherever I can just deal with that I can stop the system drain the tank and and everything is good at that point 